As China bids farewell to absolute poverty and step up its efforts in rural revitalization, a great many traditional ink paintings were made to demonstrate and record the changes in southern Chinese villages. Shang Xinzhou, a painter from the Guangxi Arts University, has been creating traditional ink paintings depicting poverty-stricken areas for over five years. Shang's painting changed the landscape, the process made in the fight against poverty. The focus of his work shifted from favorable local conditions and people's hard time to better infrastructure and happy lives. In his painting, rocky paths and shabby houses were replaced by wide concrete roads and buildings made of bricks and steel. And the poultry and the silk warming industries are highlighted. He liked drawing people's real lives and the impressive movements. And painting became a bridge for communication between him and the local people. During his stay as a member of poverty alleviation team, he used his paintings to help villagers sell their products. To enrich the local night life, he sold paintings to buy street lamps so people could enjoy square dancing in the evening. Now, 文化生活也丰富起来了，老百姓的这种精神状态啊，立马就出来了。In recent years, more artists have traveled to impoverished mountain villages to record the development of China's rural areas, presenting stories of the country's battle against poverty and strides to rural rejuvenation. They record the change of this era with brush and create more works about people. 我觉得艺术呢是来自于生活的，来自于人民的，呃，用艺术的形式呢来记录生活呢，更加有温度。哎，毕竟是来自生活，高于生活，有更多呢融入了情感情怀。